Hey, what's up guys, Zach with Wire Customs, and today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to install a Stromberg e-fire on your flathead Ford. All right, so what I have here is a 1940 uh, Ford Coupe. This is a really pretty car. It's not running very well. There's a couple of issues. And one of the re ways that we can fix the drivability issues that this one's having is by fixing the distributor or replacing it. We opted to replace it with something that's a little bit more user friendly. Um, a, lot of a lot of people argue that points are better, uh, Pertronics is better. My take on that is both of them actually has a place on flatheads depending on the type of driving that you wanna do. I have a video arguing the fact back and forth on both directions. Check that out. But this is just a simple install. Um, I love these Stromberg e-fires. I get mine from Millworks Hot Rods. Give Dave a call, tell him I sent you. He'll hook you up with one of these and make sure you don't get any parts that are wrong and not going to work together. The most important part about these is getting all the matching parts so they work well. If you have the wrong wires, the wrong plugs for them, they will not run well. They'll burn up. This will be a waste of purchase if you just don't match it correctly. Installing these are simple. So what I have here is a two bolt distributor. Um, the earlier motors had a three bolt, the later motors had a two bolt. And little known fact that these crab distributors originally weren't on the motors for very long, but later they were war surplus and got extremely popular because uh, their affordability. But I love Stromberg's version of the Pertronics, it's built really, really well. Timing it is way easier than timing an original distributor. And it's very simplified. They already have all the gaps set up for you. They already have everything. It's, it's basically a bolt on, make sure you don't bolt it on backwards type situation. Um, you can bolt these on backwards, but it will not line up and the distributor will not sit flush. It's an upgrade without looking too modern. It still has a crab look. It still looks original, kind of um, old school feel. And I'm really, really big on making, making sure that the motor still looks old school when we're done with all the modifications. Now, whenever I'm doing this process, going to the e-fire distributor, I always go from six volts to 12 volts. Um, I like putting the Power Master alternator on there. It still gives a classy look, but a modern dependability and very easy to replace and work on all that kind of stuff. And I like going to 12 volts just because you could pull over anywhere, get a battery, get, get a, a aftermarket alternator, even make it work. Um, you could get a jump start at a hot rod show. So I'm really, really big on going to 12 volts. I have a whole video on going to 12 volts, so check that out. But the first thing you wanna do if you're doing this, obviously is disconnect the battery. We're gonna take out original spark plug wires because we can't use those anymore with the new Protronics. And now I'm going to go ahead and take out my old two bolt distributor. Now, before I take the old distributor off, I'm going to mark on the distributor where the rotor is pointing. Um, we do not want to put this type of distributor on 180 out. If you do, something is going to break. Either the distributor is going to break or something on the engine is going to break. So we don't want to waste any parts. We don't want to break anything. So I want to make sure the rotor on the new distributor goes back on in the same direction that the rotor is now. Okay, there's our old points distributor. I'll clean this up and let it sit on the shelf. Like I said, there's always a place for points and there's always a place for Petronics. These are not blind eye holes. What that means is these holes go all the way through to the other side of the case where the oil is. So if you don't put Permatex on your threads when bolting these back on, you can leak oil out of these bolt holes here. So make sure you put Permatex back on the threads of the bolts when putting these in. I want to clean up the surface really nice with some brake clean and a red scrub pad and it'll be good to go. So I put silicone on both sides of my distributor gasket just so we don't have any oil leaks. A lot of people say what I do is overkill and to that I say thank you. Now something important that you need to know. We have this little hole that's right here. See if I can move the wires out of the way. We have this hole that's right there. And that used to be the vacuum port for the distributor. That should be connected up if it's stock to this steel line. And that steel line goes to the intake right here. And that's how it draws its vacuum. So what we're gonna do 
is take this steel line off and put a brass plug back in there um, with some Permatex so we don't have a vacuum leak. Now these Strombergs do have adjustable timing. This is our adjustable timing right here. I believe that they come at 22 degrees maximum um, advance. I think it's like 26 RPM, 2600 RPM, something like that. Um, usually that works unless I am doing a high performance motor. Um, but these nice street motors, their advance is already set up to probably what you'd like to run it at. Now, if you do want to time yours, you loosen this screw and slide this down. That advances it. If you loosen the screw and slide it up, um, that retards the timing. Now, here's how easy it is to wire it up. The black wire goes to the ground side of the coil. The red wire goes to the positive side of the coil. Make sure that this positive side of the coil is a keyed power. We do not want constant power here. It'll burn up your coil. Okay, so all we have next is um, putting the distributor cap on and wiring it up to the correct firing order, which is very simple. I'll show you that in my next video when I explain how to actually run your spark plug wires through the original tubing. So thank you for watching, guys. Give it a like, a share. Uh, post a comment on something that you'd like to see about flatheads. And as always, stop watching this video, get out in the garage, and get your shift together.